Now, a great way to dodge the heat is to hit the cinemas. You get to enjoy the movie of your liking on a large screen in air-conditioned comfort. The latest trend in Korean cinema is that those set in the Japanese colonial era are finding great success at the box office. In fact, more moviegoers are choosing historical films over the traditionally more popular genres like romantic comedy or action. Our Park Se-young tells us more about this trend. The Last Princess portrays the tragic life of the last princess of the Joseon dynasty. The historical film has become a big hit since its premiere earlier this month. Instead of illustrating the romance between the main characters, the movie focuses on highlighting the historical events and depicting the time period accurately. We didn't live through those times, but the audience is sure to feel something after experiencing the dark days of the past through the movie. Korean commercial films set in the Japanese colonial era, like last year's Assassination, followed by Spirit's Homecoming, and now The Last Princess, are becoming big box office hits one after the other. That's a change from the early 2000s when most historical dramas, whether they focus on the romance between the actors or the tragic life of the time, flopped at the box office. Analysts say better workmanship and the audience's awareness of history has changed the pattern and brought period pieces success. Movies that convey the pain of the past instead of simply illustrating the time period are thriving at the box office. This shows that younger audiences in their 20s are mature enough to face the painful past. More films set in the Japanese colonial era are scheduled for release in the coming months, including The Age of Shadows, about a group that fought Japan for Korea's independence. Park Se-young, Arirang News.